It's the preview of the shy Brandon. We suggest you jump on this one too. It's a real, real good show. Um, yes. we're gonna prelude what's going on this week with a little clip from episode six that'll be coming on Sunday. Take a look. You play? A little bit. Yeah. Just like I thought. I play just like Reg. Stop fouling. Deep safe foul. Let me get this defense. Rez told me you got your shoes stolen from when you was playing over here. I did. He also said you chased that nigga down and beat the fuck out of him. And after that, nobody fucked with you again. That's true, too. But I let him keep the shoes. I figured he needed them more than me. Why'd you leave us? I wasn't a man yet. I needed to go somewhere where I could figure out how to be one. So while you were trying to be a man, we was left in the house without one? What kind of sense that make? Look, bro, what you want me to do? Turn back the hands of time and, and fix everything? I can't go back and make shit perfect. Nah, just stop trying to be the black Superman. Just because you left me behind doesn't mean you need to save me. All right, then. I'll stop trying to save you. You mad at me? I have the right to be. But you can't be mad forever. You you want to hit me? You got your fist balled up like you want to hit me. Hit me. Go ahead. Go ahead, nigga. Hit me. Hit me, nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn. That's a good one. I know. I may not be your Superman, but I ain't gonna be your punch bag neither. We good? Well, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, well, I, I really well. Did. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna hit him, nice but journey. he hit him. Larry? Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna hit him either. Hey, he hit him. Larry, what do you expect to happen on episode six this coming week? We know that that's gonna be a storyline. And we also know that Ronnie finds the house where Keisha is tied up and trapped. What do you think is going to happen? Well, first, I don't know how Trig is going to sit up there and say, I couldn't do this because I wasn't a man then. He's not a man now. How is he? How are you going to be a man oh, and you can't even come to terms that the fact that you're gay? I mean, I mean, for real, if you if you want to act like you're a man, you know, you have to you have to acknowledge who and what you are. And he can't even do that. So. He's not a man, you know. Right on. Okay. That's just, I mean, that's just where I'm at. So, but I mean, I, I, I like the fact that they're actually having some conversations between young men, men and young, well, almost a man, trying to be a man and trying to be a man. I, I like the fact they're trying to work that out, you know. Um, Definitely. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I, part of my problem is with, 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 with Jake and him. I get that they're family. <laughs> But dude is still just a straight up sociopathic murdering, just criminal. Who the brother? I mean, he just straight. He's, we enter, He was introduced by murking a dude and then not even batting an eye. And I mean, I don't know how. I don't know how anyone thinks he's supposed to be a good influence on this kid. You know? Well, I, I mean, mean, Jake is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Is either the brother or he stay with Duda? And do you think Duda's a better influence? Dude is not a good influence either. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I kind of, I kind of would, I kind of hope something happens where Jake ends up having to move in with the, uh, with what's her name? What's, what's the little girl and her dad? The little, the little, uh, the little militant chick at the private school. Oh, um, I can't think of her name, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I would almost be, I would almost be like, man, maybe something happens and he has to move in with her or something with her father. And then, then that's going to cause Jake tension. To that's going to cause tension between him probably and Kev. There you go. That's a great storyline right there because it's already tension with those two because of her. So just let it continue. But, Lord, mercy. you know, but the reality of it is I, I would really like to see Jake have a chance. And the way they keep on putting him out there, it, it's like this kid doesn't have a chance. All he is, is he's surrounded by criminals and, and murderers and and I don't see how you, I don't see how you make it out like that. I mean, the way he is with Duda, maybe he learns to be a better criminal, 
maybe he learns how to be a more sophisticated, you know, criminal, but he's still the way it is going to be is still a criminal. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the, I, I don't really have a huge prediction for what's going to happen in this episode. Other than I'm really anxious to see what is going to happen when Ronnie rolls up to the house where Keisha is located. I also want to know what is going to be the next steps for Emmett now that he's been thrown away from Sonny's restaurant and Dominique and him have to find another way to make their ends. I'm interested to see what happens with that. And I'm interested to see, are they really going to give Candy a better love scene? Because that one we saw last week won't hit on three cent, man. I could have used yeah, that. Going to. They're going to because when I was, you know, I, I, I watch the housewives. I do. I watch them. People can say what they want to say, but I watch the housewives <laughs> and, and they, one of the storylines they had on the housewives this last season was the fact that Todd was unhappy <clears throat> because she was going to be on this show where they had some sex scenes and apparently there was some nudity in there. So, you know, he was a little on, he was a little unhappy about that. So there's going to be some, there's going to be some, some candy coated, some candy coated titties coming up in there. I don't know when, but I expect to see him before the end of the season. So otherwise, you know, I mean, what was all the hype that was about? You know, yeah. so, candy coated so. titties are always good. So in my book, so yeah, man, they, they taste <laughs> delicious as long as you got some milk to wash them down. <laughs> Oh so, man! All right, fellas, we're gonna move I on. Think, I do think that Ronnie. I, I I would not at all be surprised though if Ronnie dies this season. I would not be Me surprised neither. if Me he neither. if he ends up sacrificing his life to save Keisha. Well, I'm definitely interested. Um, a lot of that went through you know over my head, but uh, that's definitely something I'm gonna add on the list to start watching, and hopefully I'll catch up to you guys. Yeah, guys put it on your list. 